Hey, welcome back to the news at 8 o'clock tonight with kids out of the classroom and taking classes virtually. There is some concern that childhood obesity here in the country here in the United States could get even worse. It is a major concern, Brandon, and nutritionists, they are sounding the alarm. Our David Caltabiano has some advice for parents and also shows us how PE teachers are trying to keep kids fit. This high school gym, like so many others across Arizona, is empty. Kids are learning from home. They may not be on a steady eating schedule or getting enough physical activity. It's a recipe for childhood obesity to become much worse. Before the pandemic, it was already a concern. We saw kids gaining weight over a year, like 20 pounds. And so I can only imagine that them being home, it could be more. And it's kind of scary to even think of that. Mariah Campoy is a primary care provider and nutritionist in Surprise. She says the effects of obesity in kids can be profound. These kids are already faced with heart disease, you know, and, and things that you don't hear about until you're in your 40s, 50s, 60s. So how are PE teachers keeping kids fit during this pandemic. Just like everything, it's a huge transition to make. Chandler High's PE teacher and basketball coach Jonathan Rother says the key is unplugging. With all the technology that's in our face right now, we're staying at home, we're working from home, kids are on tablets. Take this time and disconnect. You know, go for a walk. But during school hours, Rother is sending workout videos to his students in physical education. We go through a round ourselves, and then depending on the workout, we leave it up to our students to do, you know, anywhere from three to five to seven rounds. Both experts say it's important for families to get involved so kids stay on task. It all starts with the parent. You know, you can't expect a kid to do anything. They want to mimic their parents. In Phoenix. Get involved, you know, see what they're doing participate with them. David Coltabiano for Arizona's Family.